Hello guys, welcome to your ass work season three. <laughs> I can't believe this is the third season. If you don't know what ass work is, basically it's a bonus that we add in to our standard workouts. Now maybe you add this in as what I would call an active rest day. So you just want to target your glutes, your thighs, tighten and tone all those areas that we don't really like. What you'll find is if you add in an extra leg day into your week, that because it's such a big muscle, because it's such like half of your body, you will notice a very quick difference. So we brought in ass work into the workout to help those people who want to tone their ass. Maybe you've got something coming up. You want to get into that dress for New Year, for your holiday, something like that. Maybe you're like me and you really struggle to like get those areas to grow. So you need to work it out twice a week. That's why we did ass work. There are two seasons of ass work already on this platform. This is season three. We're gonna start with a couplet because I think they're the best. So we're doing a one minute 30 time cap with a 15 second rest. Now, if you've never done a couplet with me, it's two exercises, three times through. So you're gonna get a lot of time on each section. Now, there's a reason that I've done that because obviously we're gonna do our thrust. So if you don't have a bar, you're going to have to find something that you're going to put over your hips and you're going to be able to thrust up. If you have one, <laughs> I'm so stiff from leg day, you need one of these bad boys because we've got some resistance band work. That's going to be our finisher. We're also going to put our weight behind our knee. So I've got a 2.5. I've not got, I normally do a 5, but sometimes it pinches. And because it's such a long time, I want to make sure that I can get a really good squeeze. So you can either use your band when we do our... Um, our donkey kicks or you can use the weight and pop it behind your knee if you are going to do that i would recommend you get a little towel to wrap around the weight it will just help you feel more comfortable or maybe you've got one of those jane fonda style weights or your old vest that you can wrap around your leg you're going to have loads of time to be able to switch over i'm going to give us 20 seconds is that enough I don't know a 20 second rest period but that's that is going to feel long at the beginning but it's going to get very quick very soon so this is number one in season three i can't believe we've got three seasons of ass work on our platform we've literally only been going for just over a year so i hope you are ready for this we are going to start with our first couplet we're going to get straight in there we're going to start with our first couplet of thrusts and then if you have one you're going to get your big weight and we're going to do a narrow so feet are going to be nice and close. Normally when you do a squat, you do hip distance apart. I'm going to try and get narrow, nice and narrow. You're going to come up, squeeze up, take it back down. That's how it's going to roll. That's what we're going to do. Two of those back to back. So we're going to start with our ones standing up and then we're going to get into our thrust and vice versa. You have 20 seconds to switch. So make sure that you switch it up. If you don't make it in that time, don't worry about it. Um, keep your weights medium to heavy. We're not going all out. We're just going to keep it. Remember, this is a bonus. You don't have to do ridiculous weights, but I want your form, your squeezes, your intensity to be amazing. Are you ready? Yeah? You feel good about this? Yeah? Okay, let's get that ass. Remember, every workout will be completely different. None of them will be the same. Let's get this out of the way then. 15, 11, 10. Start your watches. 7, 6. I told you it would be long. 3, 2, last one. Drive up, slowly down. Good. Drive up. So we're going to move all the way down. Hold it. Lats in. Squeeze the bum. Take it down. Do it again. You've got one minute 30. Make sure that weight is between those feet. It's not forward here and you're not too far back. You've got a minute to go. All the way up. I'd like 10 reps if you can. Good. Down you go. You should at least get 10 reps. Oh, so this is 32 kilos. Drive it up. The weight goes through those heels. Remember, you get three goes at this. 40 seconds. Should be a lot. Good. Down you go. 30 seconds. Good. Good. If you need to put your belt on, do it. Ten, four, three, two, get ready to do your thrusts. 
shoulders go on the board. My hip tucks in. Three, two, one. So you're going to power up, hold it, take it down. Do it again. Power up. Tuck that chin in. Power up. Take it down. Good. Squeeze up. Now I've got my ankle, my, my heels are slightly inwards. Take it down, good. Take it down. Remember, what ass work is all about. Targeting thighs, ass, improving. That muscle, firmness. It's not about speed, it's not about getting as many reps in as possible. It's about making sure that we are lifting with good form, time under tension, holding that squeeze for as long as we can. Get up, squeeze. Good. Up. Good. Woo! 20 seconds. Up. Woo! Do it again. 10 seconds. is hurting me already. <laughs> Three, two, last one. So back to your narrow squats. Cool. I've given us a little bit more time so we can really make sure that we're getting some good reps in. Six, five, that time is going to go quicker. Four, three, two, I don't know why, but when you pick a long time, the first round always feels slow. And then as you start to get tired, and warm up, the time gets considerably quicker. Are you squeezing your ass on the lift? Are you powering through the legs, squeezing under, shoulders are back, taking it right the way back down? Notice I'm not looking at you when I'm lifting. I'm not up here, my head is in line with my spine, my lats are locked in, I'm squeezing my ass, and I drive through my legs, squeeze up, and then I go back down. Never do I look at you. I'm looking at the floor, keeping my posture in line, down, 40 seconds, it's all about the ass, we are going into a new season, a new month, whatever you're doing this for, maybe you've got a wedding, maybe you've got a holiday, maybe you just want to that area of your body, tighten it up, firm it up, this will do it, 15 seconds, squeeze, 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 squeeze as tight as you can, 8 seconds, squeeze, 3, 2, last one, ah, my bum's hurting already, ah. my little bum's hurting already, 14 seconds, you best get your ass down there, Literally. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two. Now, depending on if your bar is light enough, you're going to come up, pulse, then take it down. Come up, half pulse, take it down. Come up, half pulse, take it down. I know. That's horrible, right? I, you didn't think I was going to switch the game up, did I? Did you? That's why I told you not to go really heavy. Up, hold, squeeze, down. Good. Up, hold, squeeze, down. Good. Do it again. Up, hold, squeeze. Make sure both bum cheeks are joining in the fun times. Don't let one do all the work. 40 seconds. Up, hold, squeeze. Good. Take it down. Up, hold, squeeze. Take it down. Good. Do it again. 24 seconds. Up, squeeze. 
seconds to literally get your ass into gear. Are you ready? Four, three. Let's do it all the way down. Squeeze up. Down you go. Squeeze up. Down you go. Good. Squeeze the ass. Down you go. Down you go. Good. Down. Sorry, just come to the side so you can see. My back is flat. You come all the way up. Squeeze the bum. Down you go. Back into that flat motion. Good. Down you go. Down you go, 40 seconds. Up. Down you go, 30. Up. Down you go, 24. My bum's killing me now. Come on, up. Good, down you go. 15 seconds, come on, up. Good, good, well done, well done. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Down you go. If you can hold that squeeze, that's what I like to see. Four, three, two, last one. Ah, last one. Ah, this is only, this is only number one. I mean, it's gonna get better, I promise. It'll get easier, I promise. As your muscles start to uh, lift. It's a bit like running a marathon, it's hard at first running every week and then all of a sudden you get into running. This time we're going to pulse for five. So you're going to go up and you're going to pulse and then come back down. Ready? Up. One, two, three, four, five. Down you go, slow and controlled. Woohoo! Ready? Up you go. One. Two, three, four, five. It's like squeezes on crack. Let's do it again. Up, oh, squeeze. Two, three, four, five. Oh, there you go. Woo! Oh, I'm getting warm. This one's making me warm. Let's go. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, it's too heavy for you. Go back to your single squeeze. It's making it hot. Back to your single squeeze. This one is real. Let's go. 20 seconds. One more. Up. Ah. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, man. Five seconds, finish whichever one you're doing and have a well-deserved ah, drink. Ah, oh, 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 man, oh, man. Good? Yeah, we're good, Lise, yeah, we're good, Lise. Everything's fine, everything's fine. I still think about it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, let's get some inner thighs in the action. Now, choices. You can do bar, wide goblet. So we've done this before. If you've worked out with this before, you would have done this before. So you can either use your um, kettlebell and you come all the way down, nice and wide, come up and then take it back down. So you can use that. Or if you want to be super duper and you want to get a bit of awesomeness in the zone, we're going to use our bar. Now, this one's to everybody, I understand. It's 
not everybody's favourite, I get that as well, but if it is, if you could, that would be amazing. But I do get it that it's not everyone's favourite. So, you're going to need a box if you have one, if you don't have one, don't worry. Shall we do it off the box this time? No, we're not going to do curtsies off the box this time, we'll do that next time. Do that next time. I'll treat you to that next time. So, wide goblets. I like to do mine nice and wide. The reason I like to use the bar is because I like to lean forward slightly and drive up. I find that when I use a kettlebell, um, I, I don't get as much on my inner thighs as I do with my bar. So if you have your bar, you should really try it. It's a bit awkward at first, but once you get it, it's quite good. So, I like to cross hand my grip, so one grip goes over, under one grip goes over, slightly lean forward, drive it up, slowly bring it back down. That is quite heavy for those of you that are intermediate beginners. I would go nice and light, or I would use your kettlebell. So, we are teaming this up with goblets. Now, if you've never done a goblet before, you put one foot just slightly behind the, um, the other ankle. A lot of people do come out here, but we're gonna keep ours nice and close. You're gonna come all the way down, drive up. Again, what I would like you to do is lean slightly forward so all the weight goes into this side of the muscle just here. Now, if you want to elevate your foot, you can. It's quite, um, it feels a little bit better if you do elevate. It's entirely up to you if you wanna do it. So all you're gonna do is put a, pl a platform or a, um, a plate on the floor, put your foot on it and elevate that way. We're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 the other, and um, team up with these. Got it? Okay, talk over. A lot to say. There's a lot to say. <laughs> Ready? 20 seconds. Again, you're lifting through those heels. If you've never done this before, it feels awkward, I get it. But just try. Slightly lean forward, you know, pick it up. But it helps a little bit if you sink down before you lift up. So sink through the squat. But you'll find your groove, whatever that is. Notice I'm squeezing at the top, so I'm squeezing my thighs together. They're shaking already. Because <sighs> this is a little bit heavier as well. I might be going a bit slower than you. That's okay. Down you go. Down you go. 15 seconds. 10. Goblet, please. I'm going for 10 kilos. You can pick whatever you want. You can do it body weight if you want, but I really would like you to add a bit of weight if you can. I'm going to go for 10 kilos, see how that goes. Three, two, one. So down you go, slightly forward. I'm thinking I should put my shoes on. Down, 10, 9, 8. Remember, it's not quick. 7, Six, five, squeeze up, four. This, this is where the weight should be here, not in that back leg, in this side pocket of your bum. Five, four, three, two, last one. I'm just gonna slip my trainers on. I need to put some of my foot slips, you see, on the back. Three, two, one, let's go. Much better, 10, nine, 
like night and day. Eight, seven, squeeze, six. Are you slightly leaning forward so you can feel it? Five, four, three, two, last one. If your bum's hurting, good, because that's what we're working. So once you've done those two rounds, you, once you've done 10 of each, we're gonna go into those good mornings with whatever time you have left. That's one. Good. Remember, I'm looking for 10 reps on each, three times through. That's what we're looking for. You've got eight seconds, so you best get yourself moving. Told you that time was gonna get quick. I never lied to you. Let's go. Down you go. Squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze them, squeeze them. Down you go. Squeeze. Be strong, come on, drive up. Drive up. Really good. Drive up. Weight in those heels before you drive up. Squeeze the bum. If you've got your belt on, you're pushing out against that belt. If not, squeeze those abs in. 50 seconds. Up. Good. Down you go. 40 seconds. Come on. We're not messing around. If you've got a lighter weight than me and you're going quicker than me, that's okay. But if you're at the same weight as me, you should be just, dig deep. Let's go. Round two of three. You don't think they'd make you do this at the gym? You don't think a personal trainer would make you do this at the gym? Yes, they would, and you would leave that session going, oh my God, it was so hard, it was so amazing and you'd pay your gym membership and your 35 quid for the session and you'd feel like you got a bargain. Some of you are on the trial. Some of you get this for free. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Let's go. Ass. Curtsies. Seven seconds. Six, five, three. 10 each side. Slow and controlled. Let's go. Down. Squeeze. Get forward a little bit. Nine. Don't come all the way up. Stay in that sweet spot. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Ha ha. Hi, Nadia. My ass is on fire. We got this though, right? Remember, we're not coming out here. Just slightly behind your heel. Let's go all the way down. Ah, gosh, that's burning now. Nine. Eight. Six. Ass work. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Come on. Two. One more. One. If you've got 30 seconds, finish whatever you have left. Good mornings, let's go. All the way down, bring it up. Don't squeeze your bum under on these, stay in that lengthened position. Good. Good. Slow and controlled, eight seconds. Oh, I'm sweating. Two, last one. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to worry you, but we've got to do them two again. And I'm sweating. Oh, this is awesome. This is my favourite, favourite workout for a minute. And my legs are dead. Let's go. Oh, my, look, my, my buzzer is gone, but I'm not starting until I'm ready. So lock it in. Ass, thighs, let's go. Squeeze up, be strong. Good position, drop it down. Drive it in, lock it in, up. Squeeze your thighs, make them switch on, let's go. Down you go. 
Good. Drive it up again. Let's go. Up. Good, good, good. Let's go all the way down. Minute to go. Make it count. Make it work. There's a reason this is called ass work. We are going to make your ass, your thighs be popping. Let's go. Down you go. 48. Whoo. Up. Squeeze. You should be shaking by now. You should have that sweat from deep in your belly where you don't quite know where it's coming from. It's that one that's... That one that when you work comes from deep in your belly. Let's go. Down you go. Never, ever, ever switch off on that form. That's when accidents happen. Abs in. Squeeze your bum. Up. Breathe. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your thighs. 10 seconds. Give me one more. Let's go, last time. Up. Well done, well done, well done. Down you go. Yes. Four and a half minutes on MPCs, no joke. Well done. It's not easy. I am not, I am not easy on you. <laughs> Every time I do a workout like this, I think, yeah, this is probably not beginner. <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, let's finish it. Let's go all the way down, down, 10. Now concentrate on getting it right in that ass cheek. Nine, come on. Eight, I want it burning. Seven, burn it, let's go. Six, yes. Five, good. Four, three, two, last one, well done. March it out. Shake it about. You feel like a then should put a ring on it. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's go. If you don't know about this platform, get to know. This platform is bringing you 60 workouts last month. 60, all of them, in my opinion, as good if not better than most personal training sessions you will get in a gym. And I stand by that. I stand by that. I'm proud of this platform. <sighs> Ass work season three, extra. We don't have to do it, but we do it because that's what we need to do to stay on top, to keep pushing, to keep focused. Let's go. Good mornings. Till the finish line. We could just go through the motions. We could just pick up those light weights. Three, two, but we don't. Right? No man, grab a drink. If you don't know, get to know. This sort of workout, most people are paying a lot of money. Most people are paying a lot of money this kind of workout. You see it don't you on the Instagram, those men that do like, oh, some women do like ass programs. We do that as just a standard. We add in ass as just a standard. This is a bonus. If you don't know, get to know. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Because you don't know what you're missing out on. Are you ready? Shall we make that ass look even peachier than it already does? I think we better should. I think we better. <laughs> Nice English. I, I use my English correctly. <laughs> uh, are you ready then? Next one. I know you're gonna get excited about this one. So, we're gonna work through the back of our ass. So you'll notice that when you see lots of people on the, in the gym, they're doing this one on the um, cable machine. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use a weight, single leg, hamstring deadlift, we're gonna come all the way down, drive it in, and when you come to here, if you cannot feel the squeeze on that bump, that's the leg that's on the floor, I need you to put that foot down and then squeeze under. I need that squeeze from you. That's where the magic of all of this is, okay? So if you if you do it trying to be like like cool and just balance, but you're not getting any any um, squeeze on that other cheek. I don't need that. I need you to squeeze your ass. That's what I need, okay? So make sure that you're just popping that foot just a tiny bit on the floor and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Got it? 
Yes, Lisa, I've got it. Good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do that one that I told you about. We're going to get our bench. I'm going to do it on the bench so you can see me, but you're going to go on the floor. You're going to get your weight. So I've got 2.5. You don't need any heavier than that. You're going to put that weight around your knee. Now, if you want to use your resistance bands on this, you can. So we're going to come all the way up, all the way down, just like this. Good times, right? Awesome. Ready? I think you're going to like this one. 45, 45 seconds on each side, so get ready to change. When I say change, 20 seconds. Get ready. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Do you know what's wrong with me? I'll tell you what's wrong with me. I've run out of water. So I've got a BCA in the BCAA in the fridge, which I'm drinking. <laughs> but because I had one for a long time, there's some caffeine in it. It sent me a bit wild. <laughs> So the weight goes on the same side as the leg that you're working. Let's go. Squeeze under. Squeeze under. So the leg you're working is the straight leg, not the kickback leg. Good. The reason I'm holding on to something is so I can just concentrate on what I'm working. That's it. That's all I want to concentrate on. Squeeze. You've got 15 seconds on this side and we'll switch. Good. Get ready, switch sides. Let's go. Now on your next round, I want you to start on this side because even though we switch, you always lose a few seconds. Good. One side is going to be way more happy about this move than the other.
Come on, 20 seconds on this. All the way up, all the way down. Squeeze up, squeeze it down. Squeeze up, squeeze it down. Let's go, squeeze. Let's go. 55. Good. Five seconds. Then we switch. Three, two, last one. Let's go, add to the side. Squeeze it out, I need you to hold that squeeze out if you can. Okay, other side, everything's fine, you're 
structure is fine. Nothing to see, nothing to see. <laughs> Ready? Ready? I'm not ready either, but let's try. So up and down to start. So we can just get our position. Then when you're ready, push it to the ceiling. Squeeze it. Now, are you squeezing your ass as well? Or are you just letting your, you squeeze when you squeeze when you push up? Or are you squeezing your ass and then squeezing when you push up? Are you doing that? Oh, good, because that's what I wanted. Oh, 15 seconds. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Come on, squeeze it. You know, as, as hard as this is, it does not hurt as much as when I just let squeeze without anything. Let's go, down you go. Let's go, out. So the reason I do this one, if anybody has ever had an injury and you've been to a physio, you notice they make you do the clam to strengthen. We all have lazy glutes. You've probably heard that saying loads of times. But it's probably one of the most common things, having lazy glutes. This one is the one that you, they make you do when you lie down. All right, you put your feet together. And that's why it hurts so much, because it's one of those lazy muscles that we really engage uh, or target singly, which is why it hurts so much. Because we're waking it up and it's angry eyes. <laughs> Three, two, last one. So, you need your resistance band for this last one. Oh, so grab it please, thank you. Last time on the... Oh. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, whenever you're done. Let's go all the way down. Drive it up and squeeze. And then every day you do something and I think, oh my God, I'm never going to survive. And then I come back another day and do it all over again. <sighs> One more, we switch. Oh my, I'm going to be able to move tomorrow. Let's go. And that's why it's good to always switch up the game and add in these bonuses. <clears throat> Shake. 
15 seconds. Woo. 10, come on. Three, two. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, you've got eight seconds to sort it out, so whatever it is in your head. <laughs> Let's go. Nobody wants a wonky ass. Now, this side of my body doesn't like this. I don't know what it is. My hips don't like being in this position, so I have to really concentrate on this side. So if you have one side of the body like me that thinks, no, I'm not into this, you just have to go a bit slower. I always feel like, it sounds weird, but I always feel like, you know when you like climb over something and your hip clicks? I always feel like when I'm in this position, my hip wants to click. It's weird. Press that foot over. Don't let that band ever come off that tension. Squeeze the ass that you're working. Concentrate mind to muscle memory. Out, out we go. Out we go, don't let that knee collapse. Foot is flat. Come on. Oh god, I just I just feel like I want to rip my legs off. <sighs> 30 seconds. We can do anything in 30 seconds. Mind over matter. Let's go. Mind over matter. 30 seconds. Oh god. This is horrendous. 24. Mm. Mm. 20. Mm. Last 10. Ah, uh, come on, he's took away. Seven, three, two. You done? You done? Slide the leg you've been working forward. Take the other leg over the back. Oh god. I would probably do pigeon figure four, figure all that stuff. Maybe roll. <laughs> I think it's going to be one of them weeks where I'm going to have to take the ball and take it in the car with me. I have to, when I can't move, I have to put one of them tennis balls on my car seat because I, I, can't, I can't do anything, I can't move. And I have to drive with it on my car seat, screaming. You know the day. It's fine. As we get through the month, it'll be fine. It's just the first couple. It's just always horrible. Take it off. <laughs> you good? Everyone good? I feel like when your mum feels nervous, good, right? See you next time. Bye.